Hello students, today we are going to understand concept of uh, coagulation or blood clotting. Coagulation is a process by which blood clot is formed. It is referred as secondary hemostasis. Now clotting factors are present in the blood and these clotting factors are assigned Roman numeral 1 to 13 and these clotting factors they act in a cascade that is in a sequence to produce a blood clot. Coagulation is initiated by two separate pathways, namely intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway. Now, in order to understand concept of coagulation, it is important to review the steps of hemostasis. So, let's recapitulate first the process of hemostasis. Hemostasis is a process that uh, prevents and stops bleeding from injured blood vessel. Now here every step of hemostasis has been explained with the help of a diagram. Now if the wall of blood vessel is injured, blood escapes in the surrounding. Now the first step of hemostasis is vasoconstriction. As soon as the blood vessel wall is injured, there is vasoconstriction of the injured blood vessel. Now because of the vasoconstriction, there is reduction in the uh, lumen, there is narrowing of the lumen of blood vessel and therefore vasoconstriction reduces the blood loss. Now vasoconstriction is followed by the formation of platelet plug. This step is also called as primary hemostasis. Now as it is shown in the diagram, platelets stick to each other forming a platelet plug and this platelet plug it temporarily seals the injured site of the wall of blood vessel. Now platelet plug formation is followed by the coagulation or the clotting of blood which is also termed as secondary hemostasis. Now in the uh, coagulation uh, there is formation of clot. Now fibrin mash network is produced. Now this fibrin mash network it is laid over the platelet plug. It strengthens the platelet plug and the clot seals the injured site and it further stops the bleeding. Now coagulation is followed by the clot retraction and repair. Now the platelets contract uh, and because of the contraction of platelets uh, the clot shrinks and ruptured edges of the blood vessel they come close together and, it, and the whole of the injured blood vessel wall is closed and once uh, this uh, hole is closed there is healing of the injured tissue. Now the last step is a fibrinolysis that is a clot uh, or the fibrin mash network dissolves. Uh, now uh, it takes place after the healing of complete healing of the uh, tissues and uh, this is how hemostasis stops bleeding and it also repairs the injured blood vessel. Now as we all know clotting is initiated by two pathways. Uh, that is the intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway. Uh, let's first talk about the intrinsic pathway. Now intrinsic pathway is initiated due to internal injury to the wall of blood vessel. Now due to this injury, subendothelium is injured, collagen is exposed. Now platelets when they come in contact with this uh, uh, collagen, they get activated. Now these activated uh, platelets, they activate the clotting factor 12 to 12A. A stands, small a stands for activated. So this is the activated clotting factor 12. Now 12A further activates 11 to 11A. 11A further activates 9, clotting factor 9 to 9A. And uh, this clotting factor 9A, it forms a complex uh, with the activated clotting factor 8, that is 8A. And this complex further activates clotting factor 10 to 10A. So all the uh, these clotting factors, uh, they function in a cascade, they function in a sequence and uh, finally in the intrinsic pathway there is activation of clotting factor 10 to 10A. On the other hand extrinsic pathway is initiated due to external injury to the wall of blood vessel say because of an accident, uh, because of a trauma. Now this injured blood vessel wall it releases a clotting factor 3 that is the uh, uh, called as tissue factor or thromboplastin. Now this tissue factor or thromboplastin it is released in the blood. Now this tissue factor or the clotting factor 3 it activates the clotting factor 7. So clotting factor 7 is activated now it is termed as 7a and further 
the tissue factor it complexes with the clotting factor 7a and this complex activates the clotting factor 10 to 10a so finally both intrinsic and extrinsic pathway they activate clotting factor 10 to 10a and uh, this is followed by the common pathway that is a pathway which is common to both uh, extrinsic and intrinsic pathway so now let's uh, talk about the common pathway uh, this slide shows the common pathway so both the pathways that is the intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway they activate the clotting factor 10 so this clotting factor 10 that is 10 is the activated clotting factor 10 now uh, activated clotting factor 10 that is 10 a along with clotting factor uh, 5a and calcium activate uh, prothrombin to thrombin now prothrombin is a clotting factor 2 clotting factor 2 is activated to thrombin now thrombin in turn activates uh, fibrinogen to fibrin fibrin is uh, fibrinogen is a clotting factor 1 so thrombin activates fibrinogen to fibrin now one thing very important to note over here is this that fibrinogen is a soluble protein while fibrin is a uh, it is an insoluble protein and large number of fibrin monomers are produced and these fibrin monomers they join together to form a fibrin thread now activated clotting factor 13a then cross links these fibrin threads and cross link fibrin uh, threads they form a fibrin mesh network so a fibrin mesh network is produced at the site of injury and this fibrin mesh network it is laid over the platelet plug it strengthens the platelet plug now the platelets blood cells and plasma proteins they all are entangled in this fibrin mesh network and finally it produces a blood clot now this blood clot it seals the injured site of the wall of blood vessel and as the blood clot controls and prevents bleeding and tissues of injured blood vessel wall they start regenerating so this is all about the coagulation of blood and uh, if you find this video helpful kindly like subscribe and share this video uh, you can write your uh, questions in the comment section i will answer your questions and uh, thanks for watching this video